and welcome. This is Alex here. I'm advised by Alex. Uh, I want to thank you for stopping by and giving me a listen to. Today is Wednesday, May 17th, 2023. So today we're going to be doing a angelic messages for the new moon in Taurus, which is for Thursday, May 18th. So the new moon in Taurus is uh, Thursday, May 18th. I do apologize for not being able to do a weekly, um, this, uh, week and stuff like that. Um, my weekend was very chaotic. Um, I had a lot going on on Saturday, and then I also had Mother's Day on Sunday, where I was spending time with my mom and also my grandma as well. So we had a little family, uh, get together on that day. So I do apologize for not getting to the reading as well. So let's hop in here to the reading. I did want to let you all know that we have the new moon manifestation meditation music, relaxing music for meditate manifesting, and it's 432 hz So that is really awesome. So let us hop into the reading. So the deck that we're going to be using is the Moonology Oracle Cards by um, Yasmin Boland. So they're, they're, they are really awesome. So let us see what is going on for the new moon in Taurus. So what does everybody need to know for the new moon in Taurus? Taurus. I should say, not Taurus. Taurus. <clears throat> what does everybody need to know for the new moon in Taurus? So we got some really good cards here. So let us hop into the reading. So the first card here, here is look at the bigger picture. And that is full moon and Sagittarius is. So um, this is all about looking at the macro level of thinking. So looking at the entire uh, picture on an uh, even deeper level of a wide scale and how each thing that you do is affected um, in the future and things like that. So I feel it's like looking over where you are currently at and going toward your goal and things like that. Um, I also really feel like this is also in relation to finding balance. Um, so I do feel like we are in the process of trying to find balance in our lives. Um, I do feel like we've been feeling a little bit chaotic and stuff like that. So um, and we are trying to find that peace within us. So that way we're not, um, maybe dealing with any, any anxiety that we may be facing or anything like that. And we also feel like this is in regard to our dreams. So looking at the, uh, macro level of thinking for our dreams and where we can go with our dreams and things like that. So that is always a really good, uh, thing to be able to do. Maybe doing a little bit of journaling and things like that. And this is my cup that I'm using today, my Golden Girls cup. It has a picture of them on the front. And it has, I eat cheesecake. Keep calm and eat cheesecake. Mm, so that is where that is at. So I'm having my coffee this morning and things like that. So it, next card here is a time for healing at Balsamic Moon. So I feel like this is the time to be able to go within, to be able to heal past patterns, um, and to be able to release them during this time. I know it's not the full moon, but we still release things um, during the full moon and the new moon as well. So we do do a lot of healing during both periods and things like that. And I also feel like this is um, helping us to even extend the healing that we did during the, the Mercury retrograde, which ended on Sunday, thank God. Uh, but the uh, energies are still in effect of the Mercury retrograde. 
So it's a little bit lingering. Um, I would say by the end of the week, this week, it should be feeling a little bit lighter in regard to the energies of Mercury retrograde. Um, and then, um, but we'll be having the energies of the full moon, the new moon <laughs> um, uh, with us as well. So the end of a tough cycle approaches, full moon and Capricorn. So I feel like we're all getting that breathing room that we need finally <laughs> coming up here. Um, I feel like we're going to be going into a new cycle and things like that, where we are going to be feeling a little bit more relieved, whether that's in love and money and in whatever area that you are wanting to uh, have that relief. I feel like that is where it is. For me, it's finances. I'm finally in like that zone where I'm like, whew, a little bit and things like that. And then once I pay off, a spam call. Once I pay off my um, bill for going back to school, because uh, I uh, uh, stopped doing school the last time and I still had to pay that bill, uh, which I am going to be doing in August of going back to school. That's my aim. And um, that is where that is at and things like that. So uh, that is like going to be even more of a weight lifted off of me because then I won't have to worry about that bill and I'll be able to go back to school um, for my master's program. So the next card here is that we have is you and your loved ones are safe and it is a new moon in Cancer. So it may be a little bit of an emotional time uh, during the full moon and things like that. Um, but it's all about knowing that you are protected and you are guided, and I'm really feeling Archangel Michael's energy around us during this time, so I do feel that Archangel Michael is around us, um, at this time. So, that is absolutely fantastic. Um, so the next card here is that we have is Show the World a Real You, Full Moon in Aquarius. So, we feel, we, that is where looking at the bigger picture comes in, and, um, looking at the macro scale because Aquariuses are known to be deep thinkers and things like that. So, um, it is very, very much where they think, uh, things on a deeper level and evaluate things. And it is show the world the real you. So it's all about allowing the world to see the authentic version of you. Not trying to mask anything, not trying to hide anything and things like that. So that is really awesome and things like that. So. The next two cards are the overall, and we have your commitment is being tested, first quarter moon. So I feel like uh, not this could be in regard to a relationship, but I also feel like this is in regard to our dreams and how dedicated are we at to actually going back to um, our following through with whatever uh, we are following through with. So it is important to be able to reflect on how badly we want whatever it is that we want. Um, and things like that. So, are we go willing to go the extra mile in things, basically? So, the next card here, the overall, is the Believe in the Impossible, Blue Moon. Awesome! I feel like this is in regard to communication. Um, and then I also feel like this is just having the faith that things will be able to work out, no matter what the circumstances are, and things like that. So, that is absolutely fantastic. Alright, so today we're going to use a deck that I hardly ever use, and it is the Psychic Tarot Oracle deck by John Holland. So it is his other deck that I have. As you can tell, I'm a John Holland fan. Um, that is really where that is at. So, what does everybody need to know for the new moon in Taurus? Ooh, Taurus. When does everybody need to know for the new moon in Taurus? Ooh, those cards were like hopping. Okay, that one wanted to really come out. Uh, 
Okay, that one wanted to come out too. Oh, I love that card. Okay. Okay, so the first card here is that we have is the base chakra. So and I feel like it's important to be able to work on the root chakra um, and be able to really just um, release any of the blockages and things like that. Hold on one second. I'll be right back. All right, I do apologize about that uh, little break, but uh, we were talking about the root chakra. Um, I do feel like it is important for everybody to be able to work on your root chakra and to be able to balance uh, the root chakra, um, release any stagnant energy. Um, you can do that through meditation or by doing Reiki. As most of you know, I am Reiki level one and uh, I'll be, I am working toward level two uh, Reiki at this time where I'll be able to do distance healing and things like that. So um so but that is there so and i also what i'm feeling with this uh card it's all about working on the foundation of things so allowing whatever the foundation that you're trying to build uh to be able to be built and things like that so that is what's happening during this new moon we also have the sacral chakra so it's important to work not only your base chakra but your sacral chakra remember this is also a form of creativity where our creativity lies allowing our creativity to flow and to be able to work on your sacral chakra um and to be able to and it's also the source of sexual energy as well so that is there the next card here is that we have is discontent and boredom and that is um where that is at and so i feel like a lot of us are feeling like we are disconnected from the world and things like that. Uh, uh, I feel like a lot of us have been going inward a lot lately. Um, and just feeling unsure of how things are at the moment and things like that. So I feel like this is all about a time of reflection and how we can turn that discontent and boredom into um, happiness and joy and things like that. So um, and I feel like that goes back to the reflection uh, topic that we talked about a little bit earlier and things like that. So going within, uh, looking at the overall picture of things, uh, the macro card that we talked about. So that is where that is at. I feel like also this is where we put on that false mask to other people where we say that we're happy, but on the inside, we're truly not happy. So I feel like that is where that is at. So the next card here is that we have is card number two, spiritual union. So this is my love and so my soulmate and twin flame card. So I feel like a lot of us will be getting um, some awakenings during this new moon. Um, I do feel like we'll be getting some downloads in regard to that journey, whether it's a soulmate journey or a twin flame journey. You will know when you are in a twin, twin flame journey. So that is there. So the next card here is that we have is light. So seeing the light at the end of the tunnel. So the we're coming out of that heaviness um, and we're going into some lighter periods. So we talked a little bit about that too. So a lot of confirmations and things like that. So the overall here is that we have is the heartache and loss. So I feel like we are going to be working through some healing during this new moon and things like that where it could be a little bit emotional um and things and i feel like that's in regard to soulmate and twin flame energy and things like that and the overall is the heart chakra so working on base sacral and heart so um allowing us to be able to give and receive love and so uh, that is very important you have that balance and things like that so that is awesome awesome sauce all righty Okay. 
So we are going to be using the Soul Journey cards uh, for our lessons for the new moon. So what does everybody need to know for the lessons uh, for this new moon and Taurus? Okay, so we got a hopper card because they wanted to come out together and that makes total sense of why. So the first card here that we have is worry. I, learning, I am learning that worry doesn't change in outcomes. So letting go of the unknown, um, letting go of expectations, letting go of doubt and all that little excess stuff that comes along with worry. It's all about letting that go, releasing that. Um, and then allowing your energy to flow within your body and your soul and things like that. I'll be right back. All right, so I do apologize about the interruptions for today. Um, so the next card here is that we have is service. I feel good when I can help others. So again, that goes back to that give and take of love and things like that. So that is really awesome and stuff like that. So the Overall cards here is that we have is relationships. I'm attracted to those people who serve my higher good. So whether that be friendship, romantic, um, oh, I'll be right back guys. All right, so I do apologize about that interruption. Um, so the next card here so that we have is relationships. I am attracted to those that serve a higher good. So I feel like this is a regard to soulmate and those that people that are around you in your inner circle inner circle hmm. wow i can't speak today the last card here is that we have is forgiveness i acknowledge that harboring resentment blocks the flows of love so allowing that forgiveness to be uh coming through you and that goes back to that heart chakra call card and letting go of any resentment is always beneficial for our soul and every, everything like that but that brings us to the end of the reading i hope you enjoy the reading and if you too would like a personalized um angel message uh during this um reading i will leave all my information in the description box below uh you can find me on my etsy shop at advice by alex and then um things like that so that is what really wonderful and things so i will leave all that information in the box below and if you like this channel i ask that you hit the subscribe button and the like button as well it just helps with the alg algorithm on youtube and things like that so until next time everybody have a wonderful day and god bless you and i will talk with you very soon bye everybody